Welcome to the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. Hi, I'm Eli, and this is my brother and co-host Joshua, and this is Podcast. Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day, and welcome to another episode of This Is Podcast. Yep. And, uh, you know, uh, welcome back. So, uh, you know, I, I hate that it seems like every week we start the episode this way now. Um, but, unfortunately, if you haven't been following the news, uh, you've heard, you, you, you know, you probably heard of the... Uh, Several major events have happened in the world this week, and it seems like it, it seems like events, negative events, and uh, it just seems like ugh, we've gotten a habit of doing this every, you know, every podcast. They open yeah. every podcast. On, on a happy note, major events. France did celebrate in the, within the past week. They did celebrate Bastille Day, mm-hmm. which is their Independence Day. But at the same time, during Bastille Day was the first negative event that we went through, um, which was in Nice, France. Um, uh, there was. A truck driver. A truck driver. A terrorist attack, um, which I, you know, people try to refuse to say the word terrorist because it might associate with a certain people, but just in general, it's a, a terrorist. Yeah, right. A, terrorism a, is not is not the cult is not cultural. It's yeah. You know. But um, and there were there was a truck driver that uh, ran through multiple people, killed eighty four, and um, had over two hundred people wounded. Um, they say over two hundred because they know it's over two hundred, but. They don't know exactly how many people that were in hospitals that didn't that didn't uh, go with the med with the medics and all that, and it's just it's hard to count those kind of things. Um, something happened the next day, though. You what, what was? Uh, yeah, the very next day there was a coup in Turkey. A- attempted coup. Attempted coup. Attempted military coup in Turkey, um, and it was unsuccessful. And I gotta say, it really speaks to the leadership of Turkey, the the president, that he asked people to go out and, uh, you know, take their country, defend their country. And they did. The civilians went mm-hmm. out. And it was the civilians that pushed uh, the military off the bridge. Um, there's a, you know, there's a great shot of the mil- of, a, of, a, of a crowd of civilians walking towards a tank and, you know, they, uh, you know, they pushed them off the bridge. Um, well, they sh- rescued uh, the the ho- the anchor the the anchor at uh, the CNN headquarters of Turkey. Mm-hmm. Um, um, there were stories about soldiers that were laying down their guns and crying with the people because they didn't know what they were doing. They were just kind of told that they were going to do it. Evidently, it wasn't really a well planned event, um, and that's okay, I guess, because it was unsuccessful. I don't think. Um, the death toll was high. I don't. I don't know what the death toll was, but um, multiple people were injured and killed. Um, and the majority of them were unfortunately officers, police yep, officers. Police officers. So. Um, so and then of course, this week also um, in Baton Rouge, mm-hmm. yes. uh, three officers uh, were killed and three were wounded when a young man on his 29th birthday uh, ambushed officers in, in Baton Rouge yeah, and they, uh, shot. You know. Killed three, uh, two police and one sheriff, and then three more were injured. Um, that's just that's it. Just keeps building up, and there, there, just one more, Josh. You can talk about that. You told me about this morning. I didn't hear about it. Until uh, this morning. All the details aren't in yet, but uh, there was an attack on a train in Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, a young man aligned himself with ISIS uh, and armed with a with an axe and a knife, um, injured. Uh, Several people. Several people on, on a train. Um, the German police did shoot and kill him. Uh, in a village, they said he, he hopped the train and was caught up in a town, and they ended up finding him in the town and killing him. So yeah, and so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody died. Um, the numbers aren't in yet. Um, you know, Europe is a a little more. Uh, uh, with pol- uh, polite with the polite with the language. you know um, they're they're a little more pragmatic um, than we are mm-hmm. uh, here in the states you know in the states we want numbers now we want all the gory details right now um, and you just don't have that in uh, in Europe and most parts of the world actually you know they uh, tend to respect a family's privacy mm-hmm. and they try to. Uh, uh, 
withhold details as long as possible and also help them get a grapple mm -hmm. on the investigation so well you know i like i said i hate that i hate that it seems like every time we sit down at this is podcast there's something more to say there's something for us to start off with and you know kind of start way back when we started um episode three i think yeah something like that we started talking about news our th well our episode three was right after the brussels attack mm-hmm and we wanted to put our our thoughts and prayers out to the to the people of Brussels, and it just seems like it it happens much much too often that we have it to sit like here in the day morning. Now you wake up and you hear something else happen you know. the night before. So you know, to our friends in France and in Baton Rouge, and you know, around the world where these things are happening, our hearts and our our prayers go out to you. You know, we do think about you. We do pray for you. Yeah. Um, uh, you know. Any loss of human life is a tragedy, and uh, it's just unfortunate we have to do this. You know, we need to get it together, world. Mm -hmm. You know, white officers need to stop, sh stop shooting black people. Black people, you need to stop shooting white officers. You know, uh, you, these young men that are aligning themselves with ISIS, you know, I, I just don't even, I don't even have words, you know. Um, and both attacks, it, they are saying that, you know, of course ISIS was quick to jump on the bandwagon and say, yeah, we, we are responsible. Um, and it just doesn't seem to um, be the case that these young men acted independently. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Our hearts and prayers do go out to uh, all those who have lost uh, 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 loved ones and those that were affected by these, uh, these events. We, you know, we were praying for you. So... Um, we have moved out of the pencil and paper age of mm -hmm. this podcast, and we're up in the game a little bit, so tell us how we're doing that. Uh, we have acquired a laptop. <laughs> now, Josh already has a laptop, and I'm going to be getting a, a, a nicer laptop for when I return to school soon. Um, but this is going to be pretty much, this laptop here is going to be dedicated for, uh, this is podcast. Um, this is an HP stream um, it's a very cheap laptop. It was, uh, we received it from a subscriber of ours, uh, which happens to be my twin brother, but, um, he wasn't using it and I was able to acquire it from him. So, and it, so, so what are we going to do with this? Are you going to edit on this? No, I'm not going to edit Okay, so you're not this. editing on it. I think still so going to have a So we do have our notes up here. We have our notes. Um, and if we, if we ever need to have like a, a news article pull up or something like that, we can have that up. Okay. Uh, if we want to play fun music. Okay. Uh, salsa music, as I mentioned yesterday, we play salsa music. So, um... And, uh, uh, this is also where we're going to be checking our email. Yeah, our email. So, we do email. have an email. If you want to contact us privately about something, um, and we've already had one, uh, subscriber that, that, uh... Asked us asked, about that. Asked about that, and it is, this is podcast2016 at... Gmail.com? Gmail.com. And that's a lot, that'll be right along the bottom. And if yeah. you ever want to contact us about something privately, you know, uh, uh, I, you know, we, you know, we'd be happy to... If you have an idea for a subject, or if you want to donate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, we'll go out to lunch. So that's, that's our email. That's how you can contact us. And I guess we'll be doing that from this, too. Yeah, that, that's... We, we, we see the emails on here. And that's the only email, unlike my Mac, which I do all the editing and everything on... Um, my desktop, it, you know, it, it only, it only lets me have one email open on the actual mail app on here. Okay. Um, so I went ahead and put that email on here. So when, when we get emails, it'll bing or whatever the sound is. I haven't received any emails on it yet. So. Okay. Hopefully we'll, uh, we will after this. So also this week, uh, this weekend, actually. This coming weekend. This coming weekend. We're taking a little trip. Yep. Um, I'm heading, we're heading up north. Now, see. we actually planned on doing this trip a while back. Mm hmm And we, we had talked about it on the show. Mm hmm And then we didn't end up doing it because we had, uh, Shell got the new job. Shell has a new, Shell got a new job. And they said, sorry, we can't give you that time off. So, oh, no. And we didn't end up going. But we are going on this trip. If you, if you saw those episodes, you might know what trip we're talking about. We're going to go see, uh, your mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah. My my wife's family uh, lives about four hours north of here, right right near uh, Lake Erie. Yeah, right up in the cor northeast corner northeast corner of Ohio. Ohio. Um, and we'll be up there. And we'll be up there. And uh, you're you're tagging along. Um, and so I thought today, 
something we could do since we are taking a trip this weekend. We can talk mm-hmm. a little bit about some of the places we've traveled because you and I together have done some traveling. Have done some some traveling. So and and apart from each other, of course. And well, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying in general that we have done we we have done some traveling. Now, um, before we go on, don't forget um, to go ahead and comment below uh, if you've done any traveling, if you've traveled any places that you want to talk about. Um, anything cool like that. We, we would love to hear awesome stories. If you want to go on our Facebook page, you can post pictures and we'll share it because we love to share what our our uh, fans are doing. And that would be fun if you want to share fun photos from where you've traveled or anything funny that happened if you've been to inter- any interesting places. Or if there's a place near you that is, you know, you know we're in Ohio. We're only uh, 30 minutes from um, the Hawking Hills, which are absolutely gorgeous. So 30 minutes from Columbus, um, essentially. I mean, really, it's 45. So is but... there anything near you that uh, you think we should check out if we ever get a chance? Yes. Is there a place that you think we should absolutely you know, make the time to go see? Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Also, we have an Instagram page, so if you want to follow us this weekend um, while we're away, we won't be putting out videos Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because we'll be away. Um, but I will be continually updating the Instagram page with what we're doing just because it's fun um, and it seems to be kind of popular right now. So, and our Instagram name is right along the bottom here. It's just This Is Podcast. So, that's the thing. That's the thing. Yep. Well, so, why don't you go ahead and kick us off here, Joshua? Okay. Well, let me, I guess, let me ask you <clears throat> what is your favorite, what has been one of your favorite trips you've taken? <sighs> that's a jaded question because <laughs> there's yeah, every trip I've taken that I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed for different reasons. Um, probably one of my favorite trips was when I went to New York City the first time. Okay. Wire. Now I've never been in New York City. I've never been in New York. Um, New York City is it's a great place. I don't. I wouldn't want to live there. It's just very big, very hustle bustle. You know. I like Lancaster where we're from because. I can go to the store and run into people I know. Right. The chances of you running to, running to somebody you know at New York City are minute, unless you're going to a regular place and they happen to be going to the same regular place too. So, um, but we we did a lot. My the first time I've been twice. Um, the the first time I went I went with the high school choir, and we sang at St. John the Divine, which is the world's largest Gothic style cathedral. And there's a picture right here of the building. Um, it is incredible to sing and there's when you finish singing there's a seven second lag on your voice from how big it is i think they said it's over three football fields long it's a and as tallest it can house the statue of liberty so this place is absolutely massive mm-hmm. like unbelievably massive you look at the ceiling and you're like oh it looks a little closer then you realize just how high it is and you're like wow <laughs> so um but sing them. The very first song we did was Deus Popoli with the chamber singers. At the very end, it was just ringing out and it was this massive eight note chord, and then you just finish and you could just hear it you're like, oh my lord, there it is. It's actually there. So that's awesome. And for, for other reasons, we we I got to visit the Nintendo cent- Center that's in um, that's in New York City. Um, we went to the the Lego. They have a, one of the Lego places, I think, I can't remember the, the Lego, Lego stores. stores. Yeah. They have a Lego store in New York City, that's pretty cool. Although I think the one in Disney World is a lot better. Talking about Disney World, you you and I have both been to Disney World. But not together. Not together, no. So when I was probably, I don't know, nine or ten maybe, mm-hmm. um, Grandmother Di, uh, Grandmother Diane uh, took us, uh, took me. Yeah, took and then know. she took you guys a few years later to, yep. uh, to Disney World. And then Sam and I also went back mm-hmm. with the marching band. With the marching band. sophomore year. Um, was it better with the marching band or as a little kid? I liked both for different reasons. I like I like going with Grandma Diane with, and hanging out with Sam and all that. That, that was fun um, just as a little kid because it was so exciting to go to, well, it's, it's Disney World mm-hmm. as a little kid. But then also with the marching band, you get to go with your friends um, that you've been friends with for some time as in the marching band that you spend so much time with. Um, so it's just kind of a different experience. You're a little older, so there's certain things that you get excited, more excited by, or less excited by. So so when I went, yeah, I, uh, I was, I had just discovered Star Wars. Okay. Um, the local, the, the minister right around where we lived had introduced me to, to Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was totally a hundred percent into Star Wars. Yep. I still am. Well, I am too, but I'm just saying at the time, you know, that was, I was, you know, that was my thing. And, 
so you know, there's a Star Wars ride there now. I, now I know there's extend. There's a lot more Star Wars stuff there well, now. Now that oh, Disney when, owns. When I went, the first and second time, it was still there. The same. They had a, uh, like almost a full size AT, -AT, AT there. Um, I don't know. They had. Did they have the Jedi Academy when you went? No, no. Did these guys walk out in Jedi robes and they train you how to use lightsabers and the Force and all that. Mm -hmm. I never got to do it because you know they choose the kid, little kids up front. Right. Well, yeah. But uh, they, they had a. One of the land speeders you saw on Endor. Mm -hmm. you, there's one of those that you can get on. See, they didn't have that on. when oh, I was a, so when, cool. when I was a kid. They only had the the, the ride. Well, the ride's still in there, and, and they had ride. an ATAT, -AT, and then they had like a little Star Wars store, but and no, that they, was it. All oh, the Star Wars stores where I got my double blade lightsaber. That's where I got my Han Solo blaster. Mm -hmm. That is perhaps one of the. I don't know, five best toys I had when I was a kid. It was orange and black. It would look like Han Solo's blaster. Made the uh, made the classic Han Solo blaster noises. Um, and that thing was a blast. I, I, I think that's long gone. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I find one on eBay. I you know I and have I seen them. I have seen them on eBay for a little bit. Um, a little bit. I, you know, I'm not bad though. I think they were like fifty or sixty bucks. You know, what I've wanted to get for some time hmm. is the the toy ATATs, the original, not the not the new crap or whatever they might be putting out now. But the original toy AT-ATs that were about this big, I wanted to have it like up on display in my house, like whenever I have a house in the future. Since we're on the topic of Star Wars, and I know I'm jumping, I'm jumping topic here, and I apologize. You but you know what dropped this week was the, the, the new some. It was I was told it was going to be a trailer, and that's well, not what it was. It, it wasn't a trailer. Star Wars Celebration just happened in London, mm -hmm. and they just dropped some new footage. Well, it's behind the scenes and some behind the scenes and some some of the new footage. And my God. The, the, for Rogue One, that is. For Rogue One, for Star Wars, Rogue One, and Star Wars Story. I saw the first trailer and I was like, "Yeah, it looks okay. It looks good." This though, this this behind the scenes thing, got me pumped. I am so excited. It looks incredible. It does. <laughs> uh, I love the look of some of the new stormtroopers. You have the the shore troopers and the tank troopers. Mm -hmm. um, the new Imperial tanks. Um. The opening, the opening scene of the, of the new footage shows these rebels jumping, diving into a trench. It shows like rebel soldiers diving into a trench, and uh, it, you know, it almost looks like a, you know, like a, like Normandy Beach, or you know, it looks like a D-Day style. One. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks, it's just, you know, and then you see them uh, walking, and they're all, you know, walking in formation through a, through a jungle. And you're like, oh my god, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. This this movie got me excited. Um, I think we got to see some of the new U-Wing. Mm -hmm. Which is, the, the U-Wing is going to be a transport ship. Kind of like the old Republic gunships. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks like the classic X-Wing suit, but instead of orange, it's blue. Yeah, I saw that. So it looks like everything else is the same, except blue. And then it looks like uh, we saw a turret gunner. A rebel mm -hmm. turret gunner oh, on the side. Yeah, he was like, uh, and he was like, oh, my <laughs> yeah. I am excited. For uh, that. So I seeing that. And just, he was an alien. By and he was, like, he was an alien. Hashtag alien. Alien. alienism. So, but none of the characters are, you know. Um, yeah. Let me tell you something. So I something that kind of disappoints me a little bit is um, they didn't listen. Donnie to Yen. Yeah. Who was Ip Man? Yeah. Uh, who played in Ip Man's one through three, and a bunch of other martial arts films, is going to be in this film. As he looks like he's blind, so he looks like some kind of blind martial arts master, and that's just really, really disappointing to me because are you, it just they're putting oath into uh, yeah. I mean, what what makes why why would I suspect that uh, that somebody from Asia who is a martial arts master would be a martial arts master? Yeah, in that universe. In that universe. That you know, the Asians mm -hmm. are martial arts masters in, in in that universe. It just it goes, you know It took it a little too because we talk about how Star Wars was originally supposed to be or seemingly supposed to be different from the world we live in. And here they've kind of pushed it into, oh well, here's something you recognize. You're not supposed to recognize Star Wars. Mm -hmm. But Star Wars you're supposed to recognize by what by the themes, but not by the actual view. Everything's supposed to be a different universe, and here they're just throwing in some martial arts. Yeah, here's a, here's he's, got a, a, he's got a bow staff. It seems he's you know he's. Well, they're they're going with the blind martial arts trope. You know, we see that in the blind swordsmen. Mm -hmm. um, they touch on that a little bit in um, uh, 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 Detective D and the Phantom Flame. 
Um, and so they do that kind of blind martial arts master trope. Um, and so I was kind of disappointed by it. I was like, really? Like, that's where you, that's where you went? I, I'm excited about seeing Donnie in. He is an incredible martial artist. He's, an, he's a good actor. And I look forward to seeing the kind of things they're going to do with that. Mm -hmm. but, but on the other hand, I'm like, it was yeah, maybe unnecessary. Really? You're not needed. So, so anyway, just wanted to put a shout out to that because I did see this. You know, we saw it. We watched it. Mm -hmm. I... The first one didn't get me, like, super excited. I was excited, but, you know, excited in the sense of, like, all of our Star Wars movies coming out. This is, but this new footage has got me totally, totally excited. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so jazzed. I cannot wait for the movie to come out. Jazz hands. Oh. So, so that's, that, that's Star Wars, and that is Disney World. So, you know, in our place, we went, uh, that we've been, we've both been to, this time together, um, we went to the Outer Banks recently. Well, a few years ago. Five years ago. Four or five. It was four years ago. Was it really four years ago? Yeah. Because it was wow. the summer after my sophomore year. Wow. It just doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Because after junior, after senior. I guess yeah, it would have been four, because... It was, so, uh, no, it would have been three or so. Well, I guess it might have been four. Because no, Michelle, was, Michelle was pregnant with, with, with Luke. With Luke. So, it was go ahead. four years ago. Yeah. We did go to the Outer Banks together. We got... Um, it was shortly... It was a little after... Uh, Grandpa Lynn passed away. Right. Um, we did this little family thing together. We said, you know what? Let's just let's just get together and do something. So we we pulled funds and all, and we got a little house on the Outer Banks. Um, and we we had a lot. We had a blast. It was you know the whole family was there. Um, pretty almost the whole family was there. Um, we had uh, essentially a four story house that we were in, sort mm -hmm. of. Um, it was more skinny and and not long but really tall right um if i had the out those decks i love i miss the decks i, I love being on the decks uh there's a hot tub there's a pool um uh, and then of course the ocean um yeah the ocean that, was only a few blocks from where we were you can yeah. walk right we walk right over to well it. from the from the top deck i bet i think you could see it so yeah. um dad was dad saw the ocean for the first time i saw the ocean for the first time I didn't know that. Yep. I did not know that. Well, they both saw the ocean for the first time. I guess Luke and Luke, no, Simon did too. Luke Simon did, did too, because I was terrified. You I know. remember that. He was um, like, nope. We went down to uh, the museum, the uh, the Wright Brothers Museum, where the Wright Brothers used to take off their, their uh, and Kitty Hawk, mm -hmm. where, we, where they were testing their planes. Um, should I tell a story about how we got in? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Somehow... Well, because we were in separate cars, so go ahead and tell you your part of no, the story. No, you were in the same car as Sam and I. Oh, yeah. We I were smashed in the back of Aunt Mary's car. Yeah, so we were with Aunt Mary, the three we, of us. We sort of... She lied. said... She said, we have two adults and three kids. Three students. Three, no, it was kids. It was young, because it was like 12 or under got in for free. Right. Well... Josh had a beard. And yeah, Sam I'm and I, 20. I had the same beard I have and now. And Sam and I were like 16 years old, and we were like... <laughs> we gave this stupid face to I, well, I was the one sitting right there. I was like, because <laughs> it's somehow the woman, the woman just kind of looks She's at like, us. Go ahead. And she, somehow Joshua and Sam and I all passed as 12 year olds. So that was a thing. That, that, that was, well, I was, well, I was, married. I, had, well I, was, I was out of college. I was married with children. I had a full beard. Now like, you yeah, were I'm sitting down. on the other end of the I car. I was on the other end of the car. So maybe they, you could have looked like just a fat. A really fat teenage girl. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very large, voluptuous. <laughs> so, but yes, you, you, we were all much older than that. Sam and I were four years older. You were like eleven years older than that. So, so yeah, that's uh, that was our experience. Yeah, thanks. Was there anything special there that happened? Something that that you, that really sticks out in your Memory. I feel like there should be, and I don't remember it. I remember going on the, you know, every morning on the beach, I'd look for a, a shark tooth. I thought, man, that would be cool to take a shark, I tooth, back. A shark tooth I never did die. We I didn't never see did the horses them. in Kerala. No, we did not. No, we did not. Um, one of the places I've been that you haven't. Um, mm. Now you've been in New York. I haven't. I uh, I took a mission trip to Costa Rica, and I wanted to do that, but Mom wouldn't let Sam and I take mission trips. They're too dangerous. <laughs> She said, but it was just, it was almost equally as dangerous when you were there. But. Yeah. So when I was in high school, I went to, uh, I went to Costa Rica. Um, and it wasn't, it was incredible. 
it mm -hmm. was incredible. Now we worked in an area called Los Quintos, which was um, a Nicaraguan refugee area. So Nicaraguans were coming down to Costa Rica. It was just kind of a refugee area, um, and it was desperately, desperately poor. Mm -hmm. um, just the slums in the worst way you could possibly imagine. And you were still doing some photography back then, so yeah. you had some pictures that you had yeah. taken that were, that were some of them were really hard, hard to look at. Yeah. So, um, um, and it was it was it was an incredible trip. You know what what it made what's amazing is that even though it was you know the slums the the worst slums you could imagine, everybody was clean. Everybody presented themselves proudly. You know when we when we were coming through. Mm -hmm. um, Men wore shirts, you know, buttoned up shirts and and pants, and you know they try to present themselves in the in the best way possible. But they had their pride, um, and that's just it's it's a you know that culture is so much different. It's, it was incredible that you know that they still have their pride and they still maintain their pride. And we don't mm -hmm. even have that when we have things, you know, when we when we're not, you know, you, you see people that you know. There's a whole page dedicated to people they're called people of Walmart. Yeah. And you're like these people, you know, these people have things. They have homes and they you know, they don't even present themselves in a way that uh yeah, they, they it's pretty sad. You know, you you walk down the street and people don't care who you are. They don't care what you do. They don't they, you know, pe people present themselves as just they, they, people have no care anymore. They don't have like, pride in themselves or in what and how they mm -hmm. appear, and so I'm not everybody. Yeah, obviously, I mean, you know, not, not all people are like that. But but there are but. so many people in this country that are like that. Mm -hmm. So and we got you know I got to see um I was in the rainforest. Got to see you know got to see the rainforest. The poison dart frogs. I got to hold a poison dart frog. Yeah. Um, you saw the Poas volcano. Yeah, Poas volcano. So there were some really really cool things. I got to see behind a waterfall. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, One trip that we did do together, but I don't remember it because I was way too young to remember it. Same night, like only within the first two years of our life, I don't know exactly when it happened. Um, we went out west, yep. and you you should remember that at least. Uh, some, well, I remember it. it because um, at the time, you know, the reason we went. I've, yeah, you yeah, talked about this on the show actually, but go on. Yeah, I, I had a school project, a state project, and my state was Arizona. It was the state I got. And I had to do a project on the state of Arizona. And mom and dad, I came home one day and they're like, hey, how do you feel about going to Arizona for your project? And I was like, are you serious? And like, yes. And so uh, my parents up and just did it. And so we went to Arizona. Um, God, what a great time to be. Uh, what a great time to be alive. Well, well, you what can't a, really do that these well, days. Well, no, you can't. You know, you know, this was in the 90s, you know, 96 or 97. Oh, and uh, I was in the third grade. And, you know, it's incredibly expensive incredibly hard to parent kids today and you know mom and dad were not financially well off and, and by any stretch of the imagination and even being finan you know not being financially well off even being you know they still stuffed you all in a car and drove out there. they were still able to you know rent a car and drive to Arizona and back mm -hmm. take a vacation you know I you know if if we could do that today, we we wouldn't be on the show right now. Well, you know, <laughs> my, you know, if I could do that trip now, I couldn't just do that now and be like, "Hey, kids, mm -hmm. we're gonna go to Arizona." Yeah, hotels cost too much, camping costs too much. The I couldn't rent a car. I mean, my God, Cars renting a car it would be fourteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That'd be a fourteen hundred dollars just in getting there and back. Yeah. And that's not even the gas. That's not even all the other the other stuff. You know, the food and mm -hmm. lodging and all that. And um, so, but Arizona was it was incredibly cool. We did get to see Grand Canyon. Um, one of the things that sticks out in my memory, perhaps most, is watching a thunderstorm on one side of on Grand side Canyon, of Canyon yeah. while you're standing on the other. I saw that in Cedar Point once. Um, he's saying he's saying fire shanties. <laughs> but uh, at Cedar Point, I was up on a roller coaster. And I looked out over Lake Erie, and you could see a, a storm on Lake Erie, a thunderstorm. That's a, really cool. A lightning storm coming in. No, where was that? Six Flags? No, uh, Cedar Point. Okay, I've never been to Cedar Point. I've been twice. Well, I've never been to Kings Island. I'm not an like amusement park times. guy, though. That's okay. I, I don't really like amusement parks. Yeah. Just not my thing. So, we do have a lot of other places to talk about, but we are out of time. Okay. So... Until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this, this is Podcast. 
So what do you think? What do you think about? Maybe I should cry for help. Maybe I should feed myself. <laughs> that could work. Oh hey, hey there. Do you like today's episode? Don't forget to go ahead and press that little like button below. And also subscribe if you really like what you see. Also share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. And comment if you have any experiences with what we talked about today. Also, guys, don't forget to check out our Facebook and our Instagram at This Is Podcast. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have to get back to scripting so we can keep making videos for you. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.